Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to quickly switch your keyboard between Arabic and English. Um, first things first is I'm using OS 10.4 and 10.5. Your screen's going to look a little bit different, uh, namely your system preferences right here. But you're going to want to go there, open that up. Now I had to unset mine, so uh, you'll go to International right here at the top, and Notice I just have some stupid things over here. You can reorder the order in which these are supposed to come, but I just put some stupid languages there to uh, put in. But I just go to edit here, and I take away a bunch of the languages that I don't want. I like English, and I use Spanish. Um, now I need to find Arabic. These are organized by script, so I need to scroll all the way down past the Cyrillic, and now we have the Arabic scripts. Urdu, Pashto, and Arabic, there's Farsi too. Um, say OK, and now I can just rearrange them into the order of preference. So I actually use them kind of more in this order. Now notice here it says that changes will take effect in the Finder the next time you log in, and changes take effect in applications on the next time you open them. So you need to actually quit your applications in order for this to take effect. All right, so now I've enabled Arabic on the computer. Now I just need to make sure that I have the right input. So for this, I'm going to go to the input menu. And there are two things. First thing, I'm going to start up the keyboard viewer. Now you notice when I did that, this little American flag pops up over here with this little, uh, this little menu here. This is what the keyboard viewer is. It's just what it says it is. When I press a key, that key lights up. So I can type my name, and you can see it pop up on there. You can, when I press shift, it shows what keys are there. When I press option, it shows what keys are there. And look, these are modifier keys. So for example, when I press option E and then press E again, I would get an E with an accent. Um, now I need to enable the Arabic part, and I use Arabic QWERTY, and I'll show you why in just a second. So I click that, and it's open. Now what I need to do is select next input source and menu. I have mine set to command, option, space, because they're all right next to each other on the keyboard. The problem with that is that you, when you do that originally, you're going to see this little warning. So go ahead and press keyboard shortcuts. And that's going to open up. And you can see my keyboard shortcuts. Uh, scroll down, and you'll see there's input menu. I've selected the next input source in the input menu with command, option, space. Now, you show the spotlight window does the same thing. I don't use that. Sometimes I might show the spotlight field, see? But I'm not showing the window. So I've just disabled that so that I can enable that. And uh, that's what you've got. Now what I've got up here, you can see I've got the US and Arabic QWERTY. So if I go to Arabic QWERTY, you'll see why I like it so much. Um, showing here, the letters basically come in their, uh, where they would phonetically. A is for Aleph, Sin is for S, D, Dal, F, Fa, G, Rein. Um, you know, it's, it basically makes sense. Shift will show me that I get my inverted I, my uh, Aleph Matsura, my, um, uh, all of these different keys that we need to use. D the Dud is here on the, on the, um, Sud. So, um, that's how you do it. All you gotta do is press Apple, Option, and Space, and it switches back to English. Apple, Option, Space. Switches back to Arabic. Cool, huh? Alright.